Hey everyone, it's Lazar from Onion, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Omega for the very first time. So if you've just gotten your Omega gear in the mail, then this video is for you. Let's assume that you got an Omega 2 Plus and an expansion dock. The very first thing you want to do, obviously, is to unbox it. If you take a peek at our packaging, you'll notice that on this front flap you'll see onion.io slash get started. Uh, go to that website and you'll find instructions and pictures of everything that I'm doing here today. So what we're essentially going to do is first unbox the Omega. I'm going to explain what this little sticker on the Omega is. We're going to connect it to the dock and provide it with power. After that, we'll use the setup wizard to uh, get your Omega connected to your Wi-Fi network, uh, update the, and update the software that's on it. So we'll need to unbox everything. This is um, anti-static a plastic anti-static shielding bag. Don't really need this at the moment. And this is our expansion dock. So one thing to note before we go any further, every Omega 2 and Omega 2 Plus has a sticker on the shielding that describes, or that just lays out the MAC address of your Omega. Uh, this isn't very important right now, the entire MAC address that is, but the last four digits which are bolded are definitely important. Every Omega has a name by default and it's based on the MAC address, specifically these last four digits. This Omega's name is Omega-F1A1. Okay, so now we'll need to connect it to the expansion dock. If you, if you line up these edges, you'll notice that this edge on the Omega and this edge on the expansion dock are the same length and same as this one down here. So you know that it always has to go this way. If you have other docks for the mini dock, the same principle applies. All of the edges line up. You'll see this one is a right angle. This one's the longest one, second longest one, and third longest one. Same thing for the breadboard dock. And the expansion dock is the only place, or sorry, the and the Arduino dock is the only place where we couldn't do that, but there is an outline that you can follow that, again, follows the shape of the Omega. So for this setup, it doesn't matter which of these docks that you have. We're just going to do it with the expansion dock. So I've plugged it in, and you just press it down. So don't worry. The Omega is pretty tough. Like You won't be able to damage it if you just press it down. It's important to make sure that none of the pins are showing so that it's fully plugged in. OK, so the expansion dock. Um, allows you to power your Omega with any micro USB. So we just got this fancy gold cable and it's just a micro USB like any Android phone. You just plug it into the micro USB port and you provide power. So for this example I'm going to be using my computer but it really doesn't have to be a computer. It can be like a phone charger. It can be anything that can provide USB power, even a battery. So let's just go ahead and plug it into my computer. And then here's the, there's a power switch on the expansion dock. We'll flick that. And right away, the Omega jumps to life, you see by this LED. So if you got your Omega 2 from the Kickstarter or the Indiegogo, this LED here will just turn on and remain on. Um, so once it's on, you have to basically wait about a minute for your Omega to boot. In the later firmwares, uh, the behavior is a little different. The Omega's LED will start flashing, and it'll only stop flashing once the Omega's booted. So for now, we'll just be waiting about a minute um, until to make sure that our Omega 2 has fully booted. You'll know your Omega has booted once your computer can detect the Wi-Fi network that the Omega is producing. So the Wi-Fi network will be named the same as your Omega's name. So we're looking for Omega-F1A1. We're also currently connected to this network called Wi Fly Away. And if you're curious, these other Omegas here are just here because we're recording this in the Onion office and we have a bunch of Omegas. So we're going to connect to Omega F1A1. It's going to ask us for a password. The password is just 12345678. And now we'll join the network. So we're now connected to Omega-F1A1. If you take a uh, closer look on the Mac, you just press Option and click on this again. You'll see that the router is at IP address 192.168.3.1. That's actually just what we're going to punch into our browser. 
168.1.3, sorry, dot one. So this takes us to the Omega 2 setup wizard. The Omega 2 setup wizard will allow us to connect the Omega 2 Wi-Fi, to connect it to the Onion Cloud, and then to update the firmware to the latest and greatest. So we'll just hit start. Now it'll ask you to log in. So this is the username and password of the Omega itself. So before we were logging on to the Wi-Fi network, now we're logging on to the Omega by itself. So the username is root, and the password is onion ear, like onion and then E-E-R. Um, in case you're wondering, we thought we would amalgamate the words onion and engineer. So I'm gonna just punch that in and click login. Right now it's scanning for Wi-Fi networks and we're gonna choose a Wi-Fi network that has internet access. As soon as you select it from this drop-down menu, the network name, also known as the SSID of the network, will be auto-populated as well as the security. So just type in the password and hit configure Wi-Fi. So right now your Omega is attempting to connect to the Wi-Fi network. This configuring block will remain spinning until the configuration is successful or unsuccessful. And there we go. So this step is to register your Omega on the Onion Cloud. Um, what this actually does is that it creates a virtual device on the Onion Cloud and it connects your physical Omega with that virtual device. Using the Onion Cloud, you can um, use REST APIs to control your Omega. You can also control it from cloud.onion.io. So let's go ahead with registering the cloud. If you're not interested in this, you can just hit skip step and it'll take you to the next step, but we're gonna register. So hit register. Now you'll need to give your Omega a name on the cloud. So just to keep things simple, I'll name it the same thing, Omega-F1A1, uh, no description, and we'll hit create device. And we've reached the final step of the setup wizard. So here, you'll be able to upgrade your firmware to the latest and greatest, as well as install the console. So with the firmware, what you're really doing is updating the Omega's entire operating system to be, you're updating the Omega's, with the firmware, you're updating the Omega to the latest firmware with the latest firm features, as well as bug fixes. Uh, you can also choose to install the console, the Onion console being a web-based virtual desktop which you can use to uh, access your Omega through your browser. Uh, if you don't want to install the console, you can just unselect this install console checkbox, but we do strongly recommend using the console. So let's select that again, and we'll hit upgrade firmware and install console. So your Omega will first download the firmware. There we go. So now it's started the installation process. So as you can see by this large red warning, uh, it's severely damaging to your Omega if you unplug it during this update. So just let it be, uh, let it just do its thing while this bar is running. Okay, so this process takes around four minutes and uh, once that timer runs to the end, you'll see, you'll get to this page where um, your Omega is kind of finalizing the upgrade and you get this message, once completed, the Omega will stop flashing. So that is true of the Omega 2, but the Omega 2 Plus has an issue with the, with the firmware that ships from the factory. So if you take a look at your Omega, you'll see that the LED is off. Um, so only if the LED is off and you've waited the full four or five minutes, should you switch off the Omega and then turn it back on. Now it'll start booting again. So again, this is only for the Omega 2 Plus. And now it's booting. You see that the, as I mentioned earlier, the LED is flashing. And once the LED stops flashing, you'll know that it's booted and you can get to making all sorts of fun projects and doing, uh, creating IoT connected applications. So that's it for the setup. Um, we recommend that you check out our documentation, docs.onion.io and also check out the project book on our site.
Thanks and happy hacking.